Let's head back to Alice Springs now. It's been a couple of weeks now and the national media has been focused on the town because of rising crime, uh, violence, domestic violence and a lot of it being alcohol fueled. We've heard from business owners and locals. They know what the solutions are in part. They've tried to drag politicians to some kind of decision. Joining me live now, once again from Alice Springs, is business owner, community leader Darren Clark. Darren, you gave some frank advice to politicians of all stripes and the Territory Government and Federal Government. There has been some change there. Have you seen any improvements? Oh, there's definitely been an improvement down here, Laura, but that's not, I don't put that down to um, any significant changes that they are actually made for the long term. Um, we've got a lot of visitors coming today. We've got the, uh, the Labor government here, the whole caucus from um, Darwin. They're down here today. We're, tomorrow we've got the Federal um, in, uh, Indigenous Affairs Minister and a Senator from Darwin here. So we've had the police commissioner here all week. So this place has been very heavily policed this week. Mm. Um, for the last week now um, and we've had a lot of services doing the jobs that they were meant to do for the last three or four years um, so it's been been a change um, but we're not holding our breath here because this this media will die down at some stage yeah uh, the focus will go off um, they can't sustain these police numbers at all these forever so mm. things will change Look, this has been framed by some sections um, of the media, Laura, sorry, Darren, as a, a black v white issue. I just want to put that out there to you because you're our, our window into what's happening in Alice Springs. Is it a black v white issue? Do you know, Laura, that absolutely disgusts me, those comments. Absolutely disgusts me that anyone would actually even say that about the people of Alice Springs. Mm. We are a black and white community. We are a community. We don't look at each other's colour of our skin. I have, I have 100 Indigenous people coming to my business every day. They don't have to tell me that they're Aboriginal. They're a community member, a valued community member, and part of our society. And for people to come in here and paint this as a black and v white issue, you've got it wrong, guys. Stick around a bit longer, have a good look, mm. because that's not how this community operates. It, it never has, and it never will. Well, that's good to hear, and thank you for setting that straight. As you mentioned, the entire Labor caucus is there today. They're having meetings. Are they meeting with you? Oh, what do you reckon, mate? They'll, I'd say uh, no, but they stay should in the be. Sea, but yeah, 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 you're correct there. You're 100% correct. They won't come near me. Um, that's OK. I, I've had my say. They know where I stand. I've presented all the evidence to Australia. Hmm. I've got the media here to have a look at this. I've got the PM's attention. And people like yourself are covering this story and we thank you very much. The people of Alice Springs are very, very thankful. But these guys have had four years to actually come and sit down with people and have a, and listen. I've sat down with chief ministers, etc. They They listen, but they never act. They don't believe. Mm. So here's their chance to do it. I don't hold much faith at all. We haven't got a lot of drinking going on in town at the moment, but for my sources in the bush, for my sources in the bush, there's a lot of secondary supply going out to the communities at the moment, and there's a lot of alcohol being drunk on communities. So they can paint a nice picture here in the CBD and walk around with the cameras today, yeah. have meetings with the mayor, have meetings with whoever, but there's a real picture here that they're not seeing because they're not willing to get into their four-wheel drives and drive 600 k's out to Kintour and ask the locals out there what's going on. Ask how the little kids are being treated. Ask about the domestic violence. The domestic violence rates in this town and in remote communities of the Northern Territory are an absolute blight on this nation. Now, this is that, this government's responsibility to look after this. For these little kids, do you know, Laura, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna shock your, just shock your socks off. Last week, there was a baby born in the Alice Springs Hospital drunk. The baby was born drunk. Just let that sink in. This, this is the problems here. So to come in here and say it's a black v white problem, anything like that, we've got to save these kids, we've got to save these women, 
We've got to get people jobs in the bush on their communities, build economies, mm. give people purpose in life. And until you do this, this will just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. I don't want to have to stand here in front of AM Agenda in four years' time and go through the same conversation. But I think we will. I think Mate. we will. We've had a hundred shots at this and it's mm. never been fixed. You make a really good point because Natasha Files is um, hell-bent on not putting in what she terms race-based policies. But you talk about those Aboriginal camps, the fact that a baby was born drunk. It's just dawned on me. She wants these votes. She wants to have a ballot for alcohol management plans. And I, and I get that, and I'm, I'm sure you do as well, Darren, about having ownership over your own life and, and some agency. I get that. But these kids, they don't get a vote. They don't get a vote. They don't get a vote. And, and, and to hold um, ballots in town camps, OK, what, what that does is give them the, um, gives people on the electoral roll for, the, for next year's election. You've got, to, you've got to actually read further into this. It's very smart politics by the Labor Party here and the NT Labor Party. It's very, very smart politics. But we see through that. So Natasha Files, firstly what she needs to do today is stand in front of the people of Alice Springs, whether it's on a media forum or, or whatever, she needs to apologise to the people of Alice Springs that have been victims of crime, victims of assault, for now over four and a half years. OK? Then she has to apologise to the women that have been brutal, brutal victims of domestic violence. And then she has to apologise to the little children that have been neglected, been neglected and not thought of in this whole process. Because mm. I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing a lot of politicians at the moment bring the little kids up. Mate, let me ask you one last question. Because when we spoke to you a couple of weeks ago, uh, you had a crowd behind you that was essentially cheering you on. Now I know that wasn't yeah. planned. They were your customers that just happened to be there at the time, and you had a young bloke uh, next to you. Who, who we kind of ambushed and asked him a question on on camera. Yep. Uh, on camera, how is that guy, little guy? <laughs> uh, Scotty's going well. I, okay. I'll tell you, I've got a bit more. Deep, like I can, I can talk a bit better about Scotty today. I'm not so emotional. Scotty was abandoned as a five-month-year-old child next to a fire in the Todd River by his alcoholic mother. He was left there by himself. He's been taken into foster care. OK, by some part Aboriginal people here. They have looked after him, they have educated him, they have brought him up well, they have mentored him. But do you know, do you know the disgraceful thing about this, Laura? In a government meeting last week, in a government meeting last week, they referred to that interview of yours and young Scotty being there. And you know what they said? You know what someone in that meeting said? Look at him now, he's even got his own little token blackfellas. I'm absolutely disgusted in people here in the Northern Territory that run this show. I'm disgusted in our politicians. I'm disgusted in Natasha Files, Kate Warden, Chanty Pake. I'm disgusted. And I'm disgusted in the bureaucrats that tow the line here in the Northern Territory. And don't worry, guys, hang in there. You'll get a pay rise before the next election next year. Take the politics and the bullshit out of this. Put some mor mor morales into this, morals into this, some ethics and actually care about the kids, care about the women, care about the men out there who've got alcohol problems, that haven't got a job, have got no purpose in their life, and bloody well care about the people of that town, of Alice Springs. Start putting the people of Alice Springs first. I know you don't need our vote. I know you don't need it, and you neglect us, and you wash us away. Mm. You'll come down here today and put on a little parade for the cameras. We've had enough, we've seen through you. Now help the kids, help the women, Help Indigenous people around, around Central Australia and mm. please, please help the community of Alice Springs because we've had a gutful. Thanks so much, Darren. I really appreciate it. They say they don't watch, uh, but we know that they do. Uh, so that message uh, hopefully will get through loud and clear. Whether they do something about it is a whole other issue, but we're doing our best. We'll see you soon, Darren.